black box, I was like, this is revolutionary. I, I would say we are probably almost at 5x, 6x, maybe 7x for some months. Welcome back, everybody. In this video, we want to talk about how to transition from in-person sales to virtual sales. Today, I've got Flora, Florence Holt from the Advisor USA. She's a client of ours at clientsblackbox.com. We're going to talk about what she has done over the past year or so after working with us to transition from dinner seminars to mostly virtual servicing of her clients. And at the end of this, we're also going to open up an opportunity for advisors who are doing between two and $5 million of fixed index annuity production and want to go to 10 to 15 million a year by partnering with Flora's firm. So Florence, thank you for coming on the show. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So let's start a little bit with your background. How did you get into becoming a financial advisor and uh, how have you been getting clients up until working with us? So how did I become a financial advisor? Because I was that person that needed one and couldn't mm -hmm. find one. That's that's why I was getting divorced and I got a big letter from my husband's attorney saying we need your financial statements and I had never done any financial bookkeeping in our family. And so I Googled, you know, where can I get financial statements during a divorce? And the first answer that came up was consult your financial advisor. And so I looked up top five financial advisors near me and I left the same voicemail. The first thing that came to mind was no one looked like me where I lived in Connecticut. And then secondly, most of the firms were, you know, just one gender, mostly one gender, one race. And I, I so I had that at the back of my mind while I was looking and I called all five of them. I left five voicemails, all of them saying I'm new to the country, here to get divorced. I would love some help getting some kind of plan together. Please call me back. And I, I didn't get a call from anybody for like three or four weeks. And when I finally got a call, I'd forgotten about it. And this person from Edward Jones sa said, I'm so-and-so, I'm from Edward Jones, so what do you have for assets? And I thought, you know, this, this is a little weird, right? I left a whole vo voicemail that said everything. Maybe you could say, welcome to the country, or I'm sorry to hear you're getting divorced, or, you know, is it a high five? Shall we break out the bottle? Like, whatever, you know? And so I felt that immediate disconnect of no interest. Like there was no interest in getting to know me as a person. He went straight for the assets. Thinking I was being funny, I said, oh, I have three kids for assets. And he said, well, you can't talk about your kids like that in this country. Oh, uh, it could be illegal. Wow. And I said, oh, it's not like I'm looking to sell them or something. It's illegal business like everywhere in the world. But how can you help me? And he said, maybe you should try the credit union, right? And I, I didn't know what that was. So I was brand new to the country and just moved like two months before. Mm. And I said, what's a credit union? He said, the same way you did the Google search for us, you can find the credit union. So for me, I was taken aback. Like this is a person who clearly is supposed to help people through an issue that can be very, very complex. Uh, a lot of us are intimidated by financial services. We don't get it. We don't understand it. It's going up, down, whatever. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to find the answer for myself by becoming that person that I need. And so my next Google search was not a credit union. It was top five financial advisory firms. And I was very fortunate. I got a job at Morgan Stanley. I got excellent training. I also realized I was one of three financial female financial advisors in a firm that had more than 150 in the complex. And wow. so I recognized how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. And I worried for the clients who need someone like me to connect with them and they don't have access to that person. And so that's where I come from. Now, how do I run my practice? I moved from going to dinner parties, networking, you know, networking opportunities that the firm promoted to going to work in a bank where I worked with the bankers to try and identify, you know, just kind of dig deeper, ask the extra question, why do you need a money market? Why is a CD for 0 0.25 enough? What are we trying to accomplish? So I really just got good in deepening the conversation and asking the extra question, like why, you know, why do we need that $250 for every 100,000 that you deposit with us? You know, what is the goal that we are looking to accomplish? And are there other avenues that we could do it? So perhaps invested more in conversations and training my teams. I've had many teams over the last 10 years, training my teams how to, be compassionate from the start and connect more than sell. Because you never wanted that experience to happen again. 
I, I, I am constantly, maybe I have PTSD over, <laughs> I first experienced looking for a financial advisor. But then two years ago, I broke away from the bank and launched the financial firm, the advisory. Mm -hmm. And in that place, we we decided to look for people who were looking to be different, right? We mm -hmm. want to be different. We want to connect first. We want to solve a problem. We don't want to sell anything. You can't mm -hmm. solve a problem that you don't have. So you have to invest in the conversation. You mm -hmm. know, you have to connect to be able to have a good conversation, to be able to bring people's vulnerabilities to the surface mm -hmm. so that you can solve their problems. So we've been doing dinner seminars, uh, lunch seminars. I live in Maine most of most most of the time. Uh, for those of the people that don't know Maine, it's eight hours apart from one point to the other. Wow. And so you could literally go for three and a half hours to an appointment only to find that the person has a cold and they would prefer that, you know, you don't catch the cold. And so you're going to drive another three and a half hours back and there goes your appointment. And so when I found Black Box, I was like, this is revolutionary. I can reach more people who are looking for me, but I don't know they're looking for me. Mm -hmm. And I can do it at their convenience. Not necessarily thinking about my own convenience, but thinking about their convenience. And I think there's something very empowering to have somebody to tell somebody, I'll meet you exactly where you're at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that that makes a lot of sense. I think the first time we met, you told me, "Hey, I'm 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 tired of driving two or three hours a day, spending multiple six figures a year on marketing." And um, I mean, you did well the first year with with dinner seminars. Like it wasn't like you were struggling or anything like that. But it was the aspect of if I can run this practice virtually, it will be better for the client and for for me, lifestyle wise and also production wise. So we were doing last year, uh, our first year in business, we did twenty five seminars. That's mm -hmm. a lot, considering yeah. we opened our doors that year in May. That yeah. was a lot of seminars, well over a hundred and I think thirty thousand dollars in uh, this seminars run anywhere between five and six thousand, seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So if with the mileage, the the travel, the time it takes, we did really good business. But at the same time, we were dead exhausted. I could not work the whole month of December. I was so tired. My body was so tired. So meeting you came at a good time where we needed, we felt we needed some kind of shift mm -hmm. how we did things so that we are showing up totally energized for the client. We, we're present, 100% present. I'm not thinking about the rain that's coming in the afternoon. I'm not thinking about, you know, a snowstorm tomorrow where I'm going to lose six appointments. Innately, this allows me to reach those people that I don't know yet. Yeah, that make that makes sense. So we've been about spending money on ads for about six months or so so far. We've gotten I think a few hundred appointments from that. How has the transition been? How will you compare this to uh, in person and, and driving everywhere in seminars? So no comparison, no no comparison for starters because I am always refreshed for a Zoom appointment. Yeah. See, um, it takes much less time uh, to, to get ready for it. It takes mm -hmm. no time, no extra time out of my day. And quite frankly, if somebody cancels, that's time back to myself, right? Mm -hmm. That's, that's it's almost like a gift of time. If somebody postpones or asks to, you know, to reschedule, that is, uh, it's almost a gift of time. I would say that initially, just initially, we my whole team was lucky because the bank we worked for, we had switched to Zoom appointments during COVID. So as far as us running Zoom appointments, it, we were fine, right? We were fine. We struggled in the beginning, just a little bit in the beginning with the geographical location of everybody because we had to learn just, just a little bit, just enough to be able to connect. And so we had to up our game in terms of connectivity, whereas in Maine, we can talk about you're coming from this place and I'll be like, oh, wow, you guys had that cruise ship that broke down, right? Oh. You know, we had such local intel that we would connect right away with local stuff. And so we had to up our game like right early on and figure out, oh, we're going we're gonna to find a different way to connect because this is not local. But once we got over that huddle, I think it became much easier for us. In terms of time, uh, I can't see myself doing this differently. The amount of time it's given me back to my day I like reading a lot. Then the whole of last year, I read like three books. I probably read 17 books year to date this year. 
because I have extra time. So yeah, it's it's really good for us. It's good for my team too. I've seen everybody has more vacations on the calendar than ever before. Mm-hmm. Just because we are able, yeah, just because we're able to control our availability and we are, you know, we're on top of our lives, I would say. Got it. And production wise, do you see yourself doing more revenue using virtual or in person? Absolutely. I think I think we're doing a three X right now, I would mm-hmm. say. We are we are at uh three X for every dollar we spend. I believe that, that number is much higher on if we were to break it down by month spend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, summer is always a lull in Maine. Yeah. We are, we're busy. I've taken four international trips this year. So my calendar has been blocked, blocked, blocked. But I, I would say we are probably almost at 5x, 6x, maybe 7x for some months. This is definitely the future for us. We we love this strategy so much that we have actually repositioned our own local clients to meeting on Zoom. How's that been so far? It's, it's wonderful. I, I think people... F- feel better that they are not taking too much of our time innately as human beings we are compassionate regardless of what the world news says we are compassionate so every time we say to the client is it all right if we meet on zoom they say oh my goodness yes that's great we'll save you girls the travel yes absolutely that's wonderful i don't know zoom really well but then it doesn't matter if they spend the first 15 minutes fumbling through zoom we didn't drive three hours yeah it's a lot less wasted. That makes makes total sense. So, what would you say is different um, aside from the connection aspect and building rapport in the beginning of the conversation? What's different between doing business through Zoom and in person? Because a lot of uh, insurance agents and financial advisors that I talk to, they're like, "Well, I would never give somebody five hundred thousand dollars over Zoom," but there are people that do that every single day with firms like yours. So, how is that possible? And and what's really different between in person where you can shake their hand and Zoom where you just have to wave at them here? I, I'm just I can't I you know I'm just gonna underscore the ability to connect with a person. We have we have clients who have thirteen million dollars, seventeen million dollars, given us two million dollars. What I love about your strategy is that these are people who have self identified. When you're going to see someone in person, they have a lot of opportunity to leave out a lot of things, you know, and they take for granted the fact that they'll, you know, they'll release another piece of information if you do well with this particular piece of information. But I, I like your funnel because right from the beginning, the client is self self identifying themselves. This mm-hmm. is my network. So we just have to get good at getting past, let's get to know each other so that we can uncover if you're a $2 million client, which is a lot of clients that we attract ourselves and know that our minimums are 500. We rarely get somebody with 500, right? Yeah. Most of the people that have come to our firm and actually our our average client size is about $780,000. So that's really, you, you know, that says something about how we do business and how we are bringing out that information from them. I think the ability to, for clients to self-identify themselves ahead of time and th- because they are expecting that they're not going to waste that time telling you who they are because they already put it in there. If you are ready to meet with that kind of person and you can connect well at the end of the day, you need that client more than they need you. So the onus is on you to like, how hard do I need to work to connect with a person but it's not work if you're being authentic. Absolutely. And just to give people more context about the actual marketing strategy we're using for you, uh, which is what we use for all of our clients. Basically, we're targeting people that are nationwide, excluding certain states, 55 to 75 years old, that are in that retirement danger zone that need to avoid sequence of returns. We educate them about sequence of returns and and different things like that, longevity risk. Um, We showed them a short video of Florence, a minute and a half, just addressing, educated them a little bit. Then we show them another 10 minutes educational video that gives them more information. And if they like that, then they go and book a meeting with with, with Florence or your team, which is usually a round robin on Calendly. And before they are able to book the meeting, we ask them about their investable assets, what's their concern and what's their motivation level. So we're not really going after cold audiences or uh, a cold lead that you have to call and build rapport with. These people have senior content, they've gotten educated, they see you as an educator, not a salesperson, and they've come to you saying, oh, I have that problem that you talked about in that video. Can you help me with that? That's kind of the strategy that, that you're, you're talking about that we're using for you. We just wanted to give people more context about that. The downside with this strategy is it's very expensive. 
Like we're spending, you know, if we keep spending for the full year, we're going to spend a couple of, a few hundred thousand dollars uh, on this, which most advisors don't have that budget. Most advisors might be spending between one and, and five thousand dollars a month with different lead vendors. They're using different people. They're getting frustrated. One works, one doesn't work. So the benefit of if somebody decides to work with you, which you're looking to hire, I believe five different advisors over the next quarter or so, which is, um, you know, quite, quite a number you would pay for their leads. They never have to pay for marketing again. You would help them transition from in-person to virtual. they will teach them your process. Of course, you will indoctrinate them to the way of doing business of the advisory USA versus whatever else they were doing in the past. And really you'll help fill their calendar with qualified prospects through the same process without them having to spend 10 or 15 or $20,000 a month on, on their own marketing, trying to figure this out. And for, without them having to spend probably six figures in the beginning, trying to figure out how to transition from in-person to virtual and all of that, you'll just save them that wasted cost. So we can just transition to talking about that. So for the advisors that are doing say under 5 million of annuity production, want to hit 10, 15 million a year with virtual and that may be interested in joining the advisory USA, what will you be helping them with specifically? And um, what are you looking for specifically? So I'm looking for that person who is, I want to use something that we use every day. I'm looking for that person who doesn't want their life to be run like the sequence of returns, right? That, mm -hmm. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody who says, you know what, I know I can do more, but I've kind of peaked on expenses versus returns, right? I have a family, I'm like killing myself. I am looking for someone who's self-motivated and said, if I, if you put 15 people in front of me, I'm going to meet all 15 people with my best foot forward, right? That's the kind of person I'm looking for. In exchange, we'll put those people, Alex and I will put those people in front of you. Uh, we'll give you we'll give you the systems that we use that make it really, really easy to do business. We'll give you back office support. You know, you don't have to chase down your cases. We, we got that. We'll get that for you, right? You need to connect with the client for something. Um, it's something that we can take care of. We will handle that for you. All we really want is for you to show up, be as authentic as possible. Don't chase the dollars, you know, chase the connection. That That's how we have done business and that's how I've done business for 10 years. Got it. Got it. So specifically for the insurance agents that are interested, they don't really have to have their securities license. They can only have an annuity uh, insurance license. I wouldn't want to uh, lock anybody out of joining the advisory. I know we have some agents that are training ourselves. Some We have three people taking the exam, the life, health, life and health exam today. But I, hopefully along the way, we can show you value in getting your securities license. And if you do not want to, to go that extra mile for compliance reasons, whatever your reasons are, we'll partner with you. So always know that you have that partner who is securities licensed. So when you're talking to the client, you are presenting the whole team, right? We a, a lot of a lot of insurance agents know that you cannot lock a client's hundred percent of their dollars into an annuity. We want to be able to provide that solution for the extra money that they need liquidity for. But it's a partnership. Hopefully, we can demonstrate value, and hopefully, you yourself, the agent, wants to grow even more than where you are now. Got it. And you will basically spend a certain amount of money per month for them. Uh, every single month so that they can have a pretty much a full calendar and sometimes you'll sit on meetings with them to help them do business with with new clients will you help them with that as well i would love that i love one of my f most fun experiences is just sitting through discovery meetings and being able to kind of go back to it with the agent and say oh let's let's take a look at how you did how do you feel you did and if there's areas of opportunity we can suddenly work on them together i'm happy to have someone shadow me and how i do my discovery anybody on the team has gone through that process and now they're very confident i'm, I'm here for support i'd love to support as much as possible yes got it so if, if somebody if, if you're watching and you want to take your marketing expenses to zero and you want to take your marketing stress to zero and you want to increase your production um, and join a team, really. If you want to check out the advisory, it's theadvisoryusa.com. That's the website, theadvisoryusa.com. And you'll be able to find a link somewhere around this video to apply for this specific opportunity that Florence will have access to. So she'll reach out back to you if there's a fit there. You're going to be able to join a team of people that are doing this virtually, that are helping people that are working with pre-retirees and retirees, helping them with their retirement planning, and really have a system that you can come in and join and work and never really have to worry about marketing again. Some people might be wondering, hey, why don't I just go work directly with Alex? And the, the problem is we are too expensive at this point 
uh, and too exclusive. So I, I wanted to open up this opportunity for the 95% of the market of the advisors that would massively benefit from this. Everybody wants to go virtual. Everybody sees the, the value of it. You don't have to be driving everywhere, doing dinner seminars, knocking on doors. Um, you can work from home. You have more flexibility. Pick up your kids uh, at 4 p.m. if you don't have a meeting, all of that. But it's it's just too expensive for most people. So being able to join a team like yours and really be trained in, in you know in virtual sales and have marketing paid for them, it's a great opportunity for most people. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say, Alex, I would like to say... Um, Trained not necessarily because you don't know how to sell, but mm -hmm. but really just to take it to the next level, right? Take yeah. it to the. That's what I would say. Not necessarily like training you because people are doing it, and I always say that a hundred percent of ten is still ten, and thirty yeah. percent of a thousand is more than ten. So. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a uh, fully virtual. They don't have to come to your office or anything like that. They can be anywhere in the country. Hawaii, can they be in Hawaii? That's the only state probably where it's a little difficult. Um, I promise I'll come and visit if you're in Hawaii. But in most states, it will be a great, great fit. Um, so that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, if anybody watching has questions that we haven't answered today, you can go and, and uh, reply in the comments below. Uh, Florence, before we wrap up, any anything else we missed today? I, I would say that if you're looking to live your life the way you have envisioned living it and you're still grinding to get there, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. That's the best ending. All oh, right. at, at no cost. At no cost. <laughs> no cost. All right. Yes. So click the button below, apply, work for Florence. And if you have a big enough firm, would love to help you grow as well.